guys, go, go. welcome back go. to go. another video. Today, we're gonna be covering bulking for beginners, everything you need to know. Yeah, I look fucking wide in this shot. Dude, it's a wide angle. Um, yeah, we're next to a really toxic pool. Yeah, actually, no. This pool yeah, this is toxic. Like yeah, but look how nice that, like, all right, you, if this pool was like pretty clean, we'd definitely be jumping off the roof. Look at this view though. Okay, let's go get a whiteboard, a marker, let's sit down. We're not going to sit down, actually, I'm going to make this video more of like a vlogging informational thing because I know those sit down videos are like super boring and I don't want that to like happen to you guys, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Did they say ice cream? Someone out there just said ice cream. Sorry, buddy. Dude, we have to walk all the way around. All right, so I actually, I was writing this and then I'm deciding that- I'm gonna tight team toying your pussy. Who? Dude, you kidding wow. me? You're watching porn right now? Yeah, you gotta delete that clip. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. All right, so you fucking airplane, dude. Are you kidding me, dude? Right when we're about to start our clip. First tip. First, what's the first tip, bro? The first tip is to um, finding your finding your maintenance calories is gonna be like the most important thing because before you start, you need to know where to start or what you're currently eating as of now, right? If you're not like, if you don't know how much you're consuming or what kind, uh, how much protein you're getting daily, how many carbs and fats you're getting, you're not gonna know where to start and how much to add to your diet. Exactly, so. because well, basically, a lot of people think they're bulking a lot. They're oh no, I eat as much as I can while I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But in reality, if they literally check their calories, like their, let's say their average weekly intake, they're actually not getting enough calories in, even though they think they're like eating the whole world, yeah, right? That's what happens most of the time too. Like you, you think you're eating 3000 calories, but you're probably having like 2000. Or here's the thing, even though you, you say you could be eating a lot and you actually are, you still gotta eat more. For example, Blake, Blake eats like 6,000 calories, still ha that's like his maintenance right now. 6,000, because his weight literally just doesn't move. So he literally has to increase it even more than 6,000 because his body adapts. All right, first tip, boom, find your maintenance. How do you do it? Go throughout the week, track your calories for every single day, average it out, that's what you're eating normally, and then we go to the next step. So on your typical day of a hard gainer, you usually find your hard gainer friend just laying in his bed and his covers, most likely either beating his meat or FaceTiming his girlfriend. So let's, let's go, go let's go, out. yeah, let's go find out what our hard gainer friend is doing today. What's wrong with you? We need to figure out what you do as a hard gainer and how hard your fucking life is. Right now? Yes, right now. Alright, let's make a cut to the kitchen then. Jeez, dude, you almost crashed. Alright, this is the kitchen. This oh. is my home. Ow. <laughs> I need here about. 15 to 20 hours a day. I am the rest of the day making sleeps. the rest of the day. I'm sleeping, yeah, or gymming, or beating your meat, or beating my meat, <laughs> <laughs> which I do the other 20 hours a day. 20 hours a day? Hey, just trying to take a camera. No, I want you to explain what your freaking bre the breakfast you ate today. This place looks like trash. We can't be filming this, dude. It's fine. You just need to explain. Like this guy has the world's biggest breakfast. Okay. Cool. The funny thing is today I didn't have breakfast. Dude, yeah you did. You had the massive poop slurry. Oh, that was uh, that. Yeah, that was kind of lunch. Right? Poop, okay, poop, okay, that's because we woke up late. All right, all right. His so, poop slurry consists of? Basically what I end up having a day is like, basically? basically, yeah, I end up with about six 1,000 calorie meals a day. Which is way too what much. Right, okay, anyways, cutting back to the second tip, let's go. Really fat and have heart problems. So don't do what I told them to do? Don't do what I just said. Unless you need to. Don't do what he does unless you actually need to. Ooh. Okay. The second tip is going to be increasing your daily caloric intake by like three to 500 calories, right? Exactly. So what that's gonna allow you to do is have like a little bit like more spare carbs and stuff to incorporate into your diet. And then overall like- My hair like, look that shitty. Yeah, it looks fucking terrible. All right, adding three to 500 calories may or may not increase your weight, and that's what you have to do. 
So I'd say after about two weeks of increasing your calories, go back, see what your average weight is. Another tip here is to be tracking your weight weekly. You don't have to do it daily. This is not a, you know, a crazy thing. You're not cutting, you're not prepping for a competition. You don't have to take this extremely seriously. Checking your, checking your weight once a week is totally fine. Um, so three to 500 calories, give it two weeks if your weight hasn't increased by you know, a significant amount then I would definitely start increasing by another two to 400 each time. Now, you're gonna get to a point where, I don't know, what would you say is a good, a good rate to gain weight at per month? So what you don't wanna be doing is gaining weight way too fast. I'll put up a picture of really fat Ryan. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. <laughs> you don't want to end up looking like that, guys, because when you're that fat, you're unhealthy. But he he was benching 385, so. But okay, yeah, there is some, yeah, there was a little bit of leverage on both sides there, but I don't know. I don't think it's necessary to gain weight. Definitely not. No, I'm not like I'll that. never do that again. Yeah, he was like borderline obese. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. What were you eating? Like three Ben and Jerry's a day? No, I would literally just have because I'm. I normally like my base. The base of my food is based on like clean organic. You got a fart in the middle of our clip, dude. It's based on that like, clean organic grass fed shit. And then at the end of the day, why'd you give me that fucking squint? Like you don't understand what I'm saying. Fuck you. All right. So. And then at the end of the day, I'd have a large piece well, of ice cream. Did you just fucking interrupt yeah, me? Yeah, because you, you said fucking idiot. you eat grass-fed stuff. But you're literally, your hands not... directly on the mic. Oh. All right, this is the meme of the day. Rip. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh. 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 Ow. Dude, I totally just smashed into the freaking garbage can. There. Shit, dude, come on. All right, this is gonna be the cooking segment of the vlog. He's making the potatoes, I'm making the eggs. It's a meal for me, and it's a cooking segment for his vlog. Let's fucking go. So, so pretty much this meal is gonna show you guys is like you can still like have good food that's like healthy, right? not considered healthy but it's not like crap like processed food like we got potatoes right potatoes are a great source of carbs and like if you fry them up on a pan like i do like i'm a professional i'm known for cooking potatoes guys how good am i at cooking potatoes they're fucking solid they're that's actually why, like that's why i'm in need of some potatoes like, i don't know how i do it but i make the best potatoes ever and they like they're so good, like they still have the good macros, right? They got the good carbs. It's just the, the reason why they're extremely good is because he puts the perfect amount of butter in it. Not too much, not, not too, too little. Much, though, but it makes it perfect. All right, bro. What the fuck? That's not even making. Dude, I'm making them. Don't worry about it. We're just slicing them you up. Want me to hold. Them? I'll hold. Them. All right, coming close. Coming close. This is the most key part. First, you take the potatoes off, right? So we're gonna cut these like. This has to be exactly one thirty-second of an inch, okay? If it's right, not right. that, it's not gonna cook right. That's definitely not one thirty-second of an inch. Wrong. This is one thirty-second of an inch. All right. All right. So after you slice up your potatoes into approximately this many slices, that is the proper amount to make mass amounts of gains, right? So the next. So, hey, get out of my clip, bro. Dude, I have a knife. That's, see, I don't know how, act, I don't know how close it actually is to you. It's your... pretty fucking close. <laughs> All right, so up next, we're gonna slap some good old butter into there. And what we're gonna top it with is a little bit of this good stuff. Just a tiny bit of garlic salt. We'll just make it taste phenomenal. Maybe a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Also, big tip, before we work out today, we are gonna put a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt just on a spoon and then eat it. So that's gonna give you guys a really good pump. Even though I'm training legs, so fuck, dude, I got legs. So, Leo Ramsey here. First, butter, right? We're just gonna get 
just a little bit of that, just that much butter, that's perfect. Mr. Gordon Ramsay said, the ideal heat will be medium high heat. Oh, what am I, oh, look at that, fire. That's good, so that's the kind of flame we're looking for. All right, we heat up the pan just a little bit. You want enough butter to like cover the bottom of the pan, right, because that is big fat. Ooh. We could do a little bit extra butter, guys. We definitely need, you need two tablespoons of butter. Slap that in there. What we're gonna do, we need like this much butter in there and then we're gonna like one by one place these perfectly onto here. So I'm gonna clip back to you guys after I do that. We're gonna put it on there like that, perfectly assembled, right? Grab a little bit of this stuff right here and just to kind of salt bait it onto there, just like, yeah, that whatever looks good to you. And then we're just gonna leave it and let it cook. So we'll be back here in like, oh, we almost forgot, we need to lower that down a little tiny bit. And then once it's fried, it's fried. Then hop it. Oh, God, I'm yeah, scared. Okay. okay. Do you want me to hold it? Oh, you should actually, if you can, like, if you can pan flip it, you can flip them. But if you can't, then you can't flip them. They're gonna just have to burn. I just missed this. Ryan just flipped that. Bam, we got potatoes everywhere. You gotta get those potatoes back. We're gonna, here. here yeah. Don't put it on there. Why? Are you serious? What? Ow! The fire's so hot! Dude, alright. Alright, Ryan's gonna try the taters for the, um, the first time in, in a week. Did you have these yesterday? Yeah, Dude, they're I good. made them and they were way worse. Dude, how good are they? They're Give fucking me. solid, bro. They're not burnt at all like I did them. Like out of 10. Out of 10, you said, yeah. Just a 10 out of 10, huh? Look how cool the pool reflection is up there. <laughs> All right, so our fourth, no, this is the third one. The third, third, tip, third tip, third tip. So our third tip for bulking is to get actually like on a serious like training program, right? Yeah. Something that's gonna focus on both like strength and size, because you don't want to have only one of them, right? You want to have both. So as, as you're getting stronger in your power bench pressing, deadlifting, and squatting, if you get good at like all of those, all of your other accessory movements for each of those muscle groups is also gonna get stronger. So in the end, you're gonna end up bigger. Right. Well, basically what you want to be doing while you're taking this bulk seriously is to also take your training seriously like religiously like you need to be like you need to be on top of it making sure your supplementation's right training's right nutrition's right exactly it's just all about taking things very seriously because the more serious you take things especially with like programming and everything is structured like once you structure programs and have like, certain percentages and certain numbers of reps and sets for every single exercise you become a lot more motivated to actually do that exact thing and it helps a lot all right we're in Safeway now. We're just picking up some goodies before the workout. I'm about to hit legs. And um, just to add on for like that last section for the third tip, um, Ryan was talking about like having super specifics like percentages and everything. So like for example today, I have a three by 10 with 65% of my max. I don't know what the actual number is right now, but I'm gonna be calculating that at the gym and then I'll throw in that clip at the end of this workout. We got the fourth tip, which is focusing, like not losing your mobility or anything like that. Like mobility it's is so, thing. it's yeah. so huge. It's, you know, the thing is, like, like, this could be up there with like number one or two, like mobility is so important to like, just like everything, like right? Like oh, tell dude, them what no. happened to you. Well, literally the, well, the I'm, Even I'm in injuries. a unique situation. Though. Yeah, it doesn't have to be just mobility in general, like anything, like any kind of body. You age just want to stay functional as you get fucking huge. That's, yeah. that's literally the Functionally main thing. Functionally fucking huge. There we go. You want to be fucking great, right? Exactly. So you don't want to have like shoulder pain every single time you're bench pressing, right? Because then you're gonna be like, oh, and then fucking crash on yourself exactly. and then die, Probably right? Stretching and warming up. Warm up so key too, yeah. like you need to warm up, guys. So with that being said, that's the fourth tip and then I'll catch you guys with the fifth tip at the gym. If you have your club card, please. We're filming this video, right? I'm telling you guys to eat like good and clean, but like, of course, I'm fucking Leo, right? So I do things how I want to do it, and I feel like personally, I can fit in stuff like this into like a bulking diet, but I just for the case of a good workout. So I'm gonna go kill my squats today. Is this exercise, my guy? Yeah. So we got you. Got to get that little easy bar, right? It's just a pelvic thrust assist. All right, let's see. Moving, assist, moving yeah. 35 kg out here. Let's go. 35. Oh, I wasn't filming. All right, guys, what's up? We are at the gym now. I'm about to tell you guys the fifth tip for bulking. We got Carson in here. Hello. Ryan Blaker in here. I'm taking ESP Extreme. Blaker already took it back, but where is it only located? Yours is cosmic. This is blue. Oh, fucking person. Right, I'm about to send off a leg workout. I need to calculate how much I'm going to hit on my squat right now, though, so let's see. How much are you going to hit? Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. I forgot to calculate it, I just went for 315. What did I, okay, so 
even though I didn't hit four or five all the way like perfectly, I'm still gonna use Based that as my number five. just so I can still get stronger. So four or five times 0. 0.65. So I have to hit, I'm gonna round that up to 275. 265. <laughs> I'm hitting 275. I've done 275 before. For 10? Yeah. yeah. So, all right, so I'm gonna finish taking the pre-workout now and then I'll tell you guys the fifth tip for bulking and then I'm gonna show you guys the first set of squats. All right, so my fifth bulking tip for you guys is going to be lift heavy, right? You wanna always be getting stronger and going on a progressive overload, guys. You always wanna be like pushing heavier weight, um, basing everything off percentages. And we already covered this in like the third tip, I believe. You need to be training religiously like guys. Like this is your life right now. Like nothing else matters. You're going ham, you're in the zone, you're deadlifting, you're squatting, you're benching, you're shoulder pressing. Like you guys need to be getting stronger in every lift, whether that's more reps, less rest time, more weight, anything like that, more sets, even like that. So just progress. Like progressive overload is my number one key, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy these five tips. I'm gonna show you guys a few sets of my squats and a little bit of my leg workout and then. The fucking spider. Let's, let's touch him. Oh, he's hella fast. So I actually just realized something. Earlier last month, I was hitting 275 for four, so it makes sense for me to hit 265, so I'm definitely not going for 275. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good. Did like two sets of 135 already, going on to 225. And then, uh, yeah, I actually have a sixth bonus tip for you guys. All right, so my sixth bonus tip for you guys, I'm gonna show you guys this before my squats, actually, because I'm dumb and I haven't hit my squats yet. But the sixth bonus bonus. The sixth bonus tip the for you guys. Sixth boner. The sixth boner? Good. No, boner tip. Whoa, whoa, boner tip. No, the sixth bonus tip is uh, technique and form. You guys gotta have all your form down like perfectly. You wanna be taking all the precautions you can. Like if you can, wear knee sleeves during your squats. If you can, wear a belt while squatting, I mean, while deadlifting. If you can, wear straps or something like that. You don't wanna be injuring yourself. You wanna make it as safe as possible, um, especially if you're working with really heavy weights, like anything like 300 pounds plus, you should definitely be taking precautions in. You want to make sure you have all your form down for everything as well, right? So if you're like benching and your form is off, you need to you take a step back, right? So what I did, I hit a plateau in my squat. Uh, I think I hit like three, I was squatting like 315 for uh, like right up to 90 and then back up. And then I kind of backed off all my weights and went started working with 225 again. I try to let my knees trust me more often. So I'm able to go down way more when I'm squatting. It's easier when there's weight on your back. But... That's an example, you gotta take, sometimes you have to take two steps back to go one step forward or whatever, whatever that saying is, right? So you need to step back if you need to, and then you need to identify the problem if you wanna be getting better, right? And then my squats, like, I hit 405, right? So, guess it's working, guys. Sir, do you have to say anything for yourself before I hit my heavy ass set of squats? What are you doing, we'll wait. Three by 10 with 265. Sounds it's gonna be, solid. It's do I have actually, anything to say? Just fucking hit it, bro. It's gonna be fucking difficult. Did you just do your first set? Yeah. 225 felt weird. Really? Yeah, a little weird. Sometimes you have off days, bro. You have to that too. I didn't. I didn't. Have, I haven't had that much food today. I think I had a bowl of cereal, a Jimmy John's, and then shit, dude. I honestly think that's it. And I just had the Rice Krispies. So, fuck. All right. So this is my first time going for 265 for sets of 10. This is uh, really heavy for me. So I'm mistaken. I thought I hit 275 for 10. It was actually a set of 275 for four. So it's my first time, so let's get into it. my second set of that absolutely fucking brutal I got 10 sets I mean 10 reps guys I'm out of it right now <sighs> on my fourth set though I was freaking gas it's getting like I'm tired so I have one more set I'm gonna show you guys this other set because it's gonna be a freaking struggle Oh. 
Uh, How you doing? Dude, that's fucking hard. <laughs> oh, my lower back is so tight. Whoop. You said. Oh, that was fucking hard. Ah, I'm a kind of a personal trainer of sorts of uh, karate. <laughs> Shit. All right, so if you guys did enjoy that video at any point, please make sure to like, comment, leave like, and subscribe. Please just. Just go down there and fucking subscribe. What should they do? Fucking subscribe. Subscribe, brother. Yeah. Also, if you guys want to share this video with anyone, please do that. Um, and if this helped you out, let me know in the comments, guys. See you in the next one.